Empire. I'm Steve Pond. We're here at the Rap Studio at the Toronto Film Festival, and I'm with Antonio Banderas, the star of Pedro Almodovar's Pain and Glory. Welcome. Congratulations on your, your best actor win in Cannes. Thank you very um, much. And on a, a really remarkable performance. But how weird is it to be playing a character who is basically a thinly fictionalized version of the guy who's directing you in the movie? A priori, said like that is very weird. Uh, because uh, he's my friend. We've been friends for 40 years. It's the eighth movie that I do with him and suddenly it's the first time that I have the opportunity to play a character that actually is directing the movie <laughs> that I'm doing. But then, basically, you just come down to, uh, you know, the material. The material, he was expressing a script. It's my Bible. That's what I have in front of me. That's what I have to work with. And many of the, actually, uh, events that are expressed in the movie and uh, situations, you know, are situations that I was familiar with that happened many years ago but uh, and uh, so and then you know you have the opportunity of actually to have all the data and the information that you need in order to create the character um, you know so if, if if you actually don't panic <laughs> you you have access to the character in a in a normal way you know it's sort of saying was there any temptation to imitate him in any way no he uh, already provided me with his looks, you know, the hair, you know, the way the you know the costumes. Even he did a, a an exact replica in a studio of his house, you know. But then we, we came to the point in which one day uh, some of the rehearsals he said to me, "Don't be afraid to use some of my mannerisms you want." I said, uh, "Don't think so." I think that it's going to separate the audience from a real movie and it's going to become kind of a caricature. I think it, it will go to a comedy. And he said, okay, okay, you know, I mean, just if you want, you know, just for you to know that it's okay, you know, I, I, I'm going to be outside just measuring that if, it, you know, if it comes to be very silly at some point. But I, I decided not to do that and I decided to create the character from the inside out more in the, in the opposite direction and I think that the results are, are, are good. I am satisfied in that aspect. Yeah. I mean, you've obviously done so many other films and television with other directors, but how important is is Pedro to your oh, career and your yeah. life? It's very important. You know, I, you don't have to be a you know science rocket guy just to realize that Pedro Almodovar and eight movies with a, a man who actually got a very strong personality that has never betrayed himself, that is very loyal to his ways. Uh, and, um, you know, the impact that he produced in his 21 movies all around the world, being in eight of those movies for me has been... Uh, he opened the door uh, for for me to go to America. If I didn't uh, have worked with, uh, with him in the law of desire, time me out, time me down, law, you know, all those movies, you know, Matador in the 80s, I wouldn't even have been received in some auditions. So uh, as soon as I said, oh, so what did you do? Uh, I'm other movies. Oh, 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 yeah. So, you know, so it was a presentation card for many things. Uh, I could say, you know, that I could have done a career only with the eight movies that I have done with Amadova. They, they would have been worth to be an actor. 